About 60 inmates participated in Tecumseh's kickoff event for Defy Ventures. Tuesday, that group referred to not as inmates, but EITs, entrepreneurs in training. For a second, it doesn't look or feel like a maximum security prison. I've never smiled this much in my life. These inmates here because they're hopeful learning about a six month program called Defy Ventures that teaches business skills to incarcerated men and women. I'm hoping to actually at one point have a tattoo shop. That's that's the ultimate goal. But it's about more than the money. I am defying the odds. I am defying the odds. Building confidence and breaking down barriers. By the age of 18, I learned that I could not trust anyone. Forcing the participants and the volunteers to be vulnerable about their past. Too much to hold in for James Hiskett. I easily started thinking of my daughter and the mistakes that led here and not being able to be there for her. Inmates and first time visitors bonding over similarities and differences in this line exercise. Just wanted to reach across the line and hug them and, um, and let them know that people care. Corrections Director Scott Frakes also participating finding common ground with those in khaki on the other side. Looking across at the men, looking into their eyes and seeing how they respond, there's more similarities perhaps than differences. Right now, the program is privately funded, but corrections officials tell me if the data shows it works, they'll consider building it into the budget. In Tecumseh, Camilla Ortiz, KETV News Watch 7.